I'm going to show you here my uh, my heat sink attenuator that I built. Um, since I've got it here connected up to this uh, um, Marshall 18 watt JTM style amp that I uh, just recently put together. Um, and I was doing a video on that, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to um, do it on this heat sink. Um, the heat sink, that, that's a, a, a kind of an updated version of, here's another one, the earlier version I built several years ago. And uh, um, um, the newer one is, uh, um, obviously it's a lot bigger, but it's uh, um, capable of handling a lot more power. Um, I, I wanted something I could run a, uh, at least a 100 watt amp into at uh, full power. And so I redid this. And uh, also, this one's got two knobs on it. You'll see the, the one on the right is for volume, and uh, this is for tone. Um, and anyways, um, let me plug in an amp, plug into the amp and turn it on, and we'll listen to the difference in, in uh, tone for the, through the attenuator. Okay, here we go. Um, got the... Uh, attenuator in a bypass position. I'm going to start off here with just a couple of clean chords. And now I'm going to turn the attenuator on and it's at minimal attenuation. That's clean setting, that's all well and good, but uh, face it, we don't use these things for playing clean. <clears throat> so let me turn the amp up a little bit and uh, turn up the, the guitar a little bit to get a little bit of a grind, not too much. Okay, that's bypass, now we'll go with the attenuator on. Now you may not hear a big difference in volume. That's because of the uh, compression on board on the camera that's kicking in and limiting the overall volume. But uh, um, what you should be, uh, um, well, if you can, uh, uh, well, I'll just say that here in the room the difference in volume is substantial. So, um, again. Attenuator on. Alright. Um, let's turn it up a little bit more. I'm going to leave it setting just where it's at and give a little bit more uh, distortion on the guitar. Maybe turn the amp up a tad. A little more break up. That was actually attenuated setting. Here's the bypass. We'll do the same thing. Attenuated. down a little bit to the uh, uh, three o'clock position. We'll bring it down even farther to straight up and down twelve o'clock. Bring 
not even farther. And that's basically a, a, a bedroom volume there. I'm going to bring it, if I bring it down all the way, see it silences it completely. So let's bring it up just a hair, tad more till we get some, some there we go. Here we got some. And that's a, uh, um, that's, that's basically, that's, you can hear my voice, that's below speaking volume. That's a, that's a real low bedroom volume. In fact, the strings on the guitar are probably louder. Okay, but that's, that's probably not what most people are going to use an attenuator for. They're going to use it just to roll off a little volume. Um, so something said it's about like so. And then the uh, the tone control, just to, for demonstration, I'll turn it, roll it all the way off. And then I'll roll it all the way back, all the way up. Again. And uh, um, that's actually you could I could adjust this to make that little more uh, um, adjustment in that control. But to be honest with you, I find it actually about there is it. And this range is about the same as the bypass tone. Bypassed. And that's that's it. Um, you know, is it is it perfect? No, I don't think there is any perfect means of reducing volume um, the biggest difference that you get with this is uh, um, there's less coupling between the speaker and the guitar to drive the strings but that's going to happen regardless of, of the method you use for reducing the volume uh, whether you use an attenuator or power scaling or master volume or a combination of all three um, the uh, um, the common complaint is that the attenuators squash the tone. I think you, this, you see by this that this is a good attenuator does not squash the tone. Um, is there an effect on the tone? Certainly there's an effect on the tone. It's not perfect, but uh, um, it certainly is a handy tool. allows you to get the amp cranked up, pr producing the distortion that you want, and being able to uh, control the overall volume. And that's, uh, that's all we're really looking forward to do. And that's it. That's the heat sink attenuator.